We are taping this in a real life mortuary. Mm -hmm. So my first question is, under what circumstances would you agree to spend one night here alone? None. By yourself, no? <laughs> <laughs> that would never happen. Nope. No negotiable. No. No need to research your character to give it a deeper layer. No, because I don't even feel like Megan knew what she was coming into. Good point. Right? Yes. So, yeah, she hadn't spent time at Adam Ward before this. Yeah. Yeah. Was, was that some, something like. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm not a religious person, <laughs> but right now I want to convert. <laughs> if it's not too late, let's do it right now. Oh my God. Okay, what's going okay. on? Next question. Ah, that was, that was pretty special. <laughs> that was a very special moment. Going back to yes, the okay, interview okay. for you to play a character that is not running away from the threat, but is confronting that. Was that something especially appealing for you? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And Megan plays a badass and she, you know, was a cop to begin with. So that alone she had to go into with a different sort of confidence and bravery than I could ever imagine. Um, and so I think with this whole thing, the reason why she didn't run away was because she needed to face these internal demons herself first. And I loved how the movie just sort of played out where there wasn't anybody that needed to, s no one saved her. She mm -hmm. saved herself. And I think that that was a really powerful message to, to walk away from. Hannah Grace is uh, played by Kirby Johnson, who does a fantastic job. Fantastic. An amazing job. What, yeah. what, what was your reaction the first time that you saw her in full makeup? On? Oh, in full makeup, I was terrified. I mean, what she can do with her body and the movements was just fascinating. And there really wasn't a lot of special effects that were added to this movie at all. What you saw was what you got, aside from her climbing on the ceiling. But uh, it was really scary, and so much so that a lot of people, even in our crew, had to just, you know, sort of walk away at moments. Because mm -hmm. it was a little disturbing. So she did her job and played it perfectly. I think about death because mm -hmm. it's normal we're Absolutely. gonna die and you have these choices you know resting in peace mm -hmm. boring right or spending eternity hunting a place you yes. know in my case it would be like a movie theater you know mm -hmm. or a library because you know there we I'm go intellectual yeah what place would you like to hunt for the, oh. the times of of times public washrooms <laughs> i think that would be the place i'd hide out don't ask why. I just think it's like a very, what are you going to do, run out with your pants down? No, I think it's like very creepy. And especially in this movie, shooting that scene yeah. has made me feel very... Connected to Very connected because, you know, it's been a little, <laughs> you, you go into a public restroom sometimes and they're not the most like comfortable places to be in to begin with. Yeah. But if those lights go out, oh, I'm over. No, done. You so. Yeah. I'm far from home, but I'm going to wait. I'm, yes. not, I'm not stopping at a public restaurant. Don't. After this not movie. after this movie. No. <laughs> Thank you so much for of your Of course. Time. Sorry about that. <laughs> I love this. Thank you so it's much. It's so fun. Nice Thank to you. meet you.